This week's issue, what factors influence asthma? Our vocabulary is one, intervention, an action intended to solve a problem. Phenomenon, something unusual that happens. Priority, item of high importance. Suspend, a verb that means to stop for a while. And transmit, a verb that means to pass on. Asthma is a respiratory disease that makes breathing difficult. Sometimes it's connected to plant and animal allergies. Asthma is not a contagious disease. It cannot be transmitted from person to person. Instead, asthma is a health condition that is triggered by environmental factors, such as indoor and outdoor pollutants that make the air dirty. But health experts are noticing a new phenomenon. The number of people diagnosed with asthma is steadily growing. According to the World Health Organization, the number of people diagnosed with asthma increased from 7% of the world population in 2001 to 8% of the world population in 2009. With the increase in asthma rates, the scientific community is prioritizing research to answer the question, what factors influence asthma? Scientists have found evidence to suggest that exposure to secondhand smoke is a factor that influences asthma. Secondhand smoke is smoke inhaled involuntarily from cigarettes being smoked by others. Children who are in a room or car with adults who are smoking are experiencing secondhand smoke. Research shows that children who grow up in households where someone smokes are more likely to develop asthma and secondhand smoke is a trigger for acute or severe asthma attacks. Asthmatic children frequently end up in emergency rooms to receive breathing interventions after being exposed to secondhand smoke. As a result, doctors recommend that adults suspend or stop their smoking when they are in a room with children. Yet another factor scientists argue influences asthma is air quality. Factories, power plants, traffic, and other industrial facilities are major contributors to another asthma trigger, air pollution. As a result, people who live in crowded cities or near power plants are more likely to be diagnosed with asthma. Studies of rich and poor neighborhoods have shown big differences in asthma rates. In 2010, the low-income Bronx area of New York City, where 43% of children live in poverty, had the highest rate of child asthma. Out of every 10,000 children, 91 were hospitalized for asthma. The wealthiest region, Staten Island, had the lowest rate, only 22 cases per 10,000 children. Many asthma triggers like mold and cockroaches are far more common among low-income residential bu buildings who have landlords who don't maintain their buildings. The scientific community agrees that identifying the factors that influence asthma rates is a top priority. As a result, scientists are working hard to collect data to better understand factors that influence asthma rates. This week, your goal will be to write a scientific claim about one factor that influences asthma and is supported by evidence, 